I'm back in Toy Story Land. It's nighttime now and everything's lit up. I'm actually by where the Star Wars entrance is going to be. So we can see back into Toy Story Land how everything is lit up. So pretty. We just rode Alien Swirling Saucers. And Greetings to the toys. I mean, you were on a play date with Destiny. We were on a play date with Destiny. Um, it was really cute and fun. The little ones will definitely love it. It's not really thrilling, but it's a cute little ride. Um, I like spinning around, so I like it. I like it. It's a lot like Mater's Junkyard Jamboree in uh, California Adventure. Exact same idea. But it's super cute. I liked it. I will ride it again with my kids. So, we did that. And one thing I thought I would mention is we actually kind of came over here on a whim today after we were done at Animal Kingdom. We got here at 3 in the afternoon, between 2 and 3. We've ridden um, Slinky, Toy Story Mania, Aliens Rolling Saucers, plus Rock and Roller Coaster Tower of Terror. We did One Man's Dream, um, all without fast passes. We had a fast pass for our seating at Fantasmic, but everything else we did without a fast pass. So um, the lines are definitely manageable here. We are here at a really slow time during the summer, um, but yeah, like. It's very, the lines are very manageable. Look at the cootie. It's so fun. So everything's fun lit up. We've got some Christmas lights from across up here. Oh, and we ate dinner at Woody's Lunchbox. Um, and it was really good. I got a brisket sandwich and it was very yummy. And I like that they have the mobile ordering. So we could order, we actually ordered our meal while we were in line for Toy Story Mania. And after we rode, we came over here and picked up our, our supper. It's very convenient. I love mobile ordering. So like I said, we rode Slinky Dog earlier to, today without a fast pass. And the posted time was 60 minutes. We waited about 50, and it wasn't too bad. For one thing, we made friends with the people around us in line. Um, but the other thing is, once you make it to the shaded area, it's um, very well cooled for being outside because they've got um, a lot of fans going and that sort of thing. happened to get in line at a time where it was a little overcast so that was nice not baking in the sun for that 50 minutes um, but yeah it was definitely doable without a fast pass the wait right now says 45 minutes it's probably a little bit less than that but we're really tired I'm not gonna I don't need to write it again it's it's really fun I liked um, how smooth it is I think it's a little bit slower than Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, watch. Here we go. It's not a, it's a great family coaster. Little ones are definitely gonna love it. It's a great like first coaster for a kid, but it's also well themed and fun. Adults will like it too. They did a really good job of finding or creating a ride to appeal to kids and adults. So I, I really liked it and I look forward to riding it again. I'm just too tired to wait for 45 minutes right now. We, um, we rode up Animal Kingdom this morning and we've been going nonstop. I typically take a little break in the middle of the day, so I am tired. So this is heading back towards Woody's Lunchbox. Okay, 
Pixar ball is such a fun little photo op. They have it really well lit too. They don't have a photo pass photographer in front of it right now, but earlier today I'm almost positive that they did. I've seen a lot of photo pass people in Toy Story Land. Some were just roaming around taking pictures of people and then others had, you know, stations set up. So this is the exit for uh, Toy Story Mania. about 30 minutes standby for Toy Story Mania today. Not bad. And also unheard of um, back in the day, like a year or two ago, the line was never less than at least an hour. So it's kind of kind of nice. That third track makes a big difference and plus these new attractions are garnering a lot of the attention and Toy Story Mania is not new. So very easy to ride it without a test pass. So right now the wait is 20 minutes. Not bad at all. And Buzz is over here meeting and greeting. We're already past Woody and Jesse. Oh. is the fence of Andy's backyard. And what's crazy to me is a few months ago when I did the VIP tour, we there's actually a parking garage on the other side of the fence. And we stood on the top of the parking garage, peeking over that top of the fence, trying to see as much as we could of Toy Story Land. And now here we are. that they built here are rides that the whole family can do together that everyone's going to enjoy and have a lot of fun together with um, it, they just did such a fantastic job I just absolutely love it back to the main entrance right now adventure. are you on an adventure right now that's good to hear me too you know what my adventure is uh, patrolling Andy's backyard and making sure toys are safe do you take care of your toys? It's so nice That's good to, to hear. What's your favorite toy, young man? Legos. What are you let? What are you letting go of? Anything. All right, on top of that. Step forward, please. We're right here next to me. Can you get me a nice? Good job. All right, and so this is the main entrance exit for now until Star Wars Land opens. Wow, there's been a line all day to take a picture in front of Woody. But now there's, there's not. We might have to do that since there's no line. That's what it looks like at night. I absolutely love it. I, I think families are going to love it. I think a lot of happy memories are going to be made here. I can't wait to bring my boys um, and the four of us enjoy it together. It's just so well done and I absolutely love it. And I'm just so excited about what this park is developing into because it's really something special.